welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making a barn halter and a dog collar. As I've already done a halter uh, before, very similar to this, I've linked the information below and I'm just going to do a very quick pictorial work through of this. But I will be doing the dog collar and how to print these tiny little tags. Let's see if I can get that. There's Joe's. And there's Mr. Samuel L. Jumpers. So we've got a lot of letters on that tiny little plate. Let's get started. For the dog leash, take a piece of 1 8 inch leather and cut it around 1 and 3 quarters times around the dog's neck. You want to make sure this is nice and thin and well prepared. Now the leather lace I bought was already ready to go pretty much. I'm just going to take some of this gum and just dip a little bit and on both sides of the leather just rub that in to get rid of any of the the rough edges you can see the difference between that and there it's not a lot but it really does make a nice clean finish to the leather if you want take a pounce wheel and carefully along each side as close as possible run the pounce wheel along to create stitches on both sides. Just going to trim down the end a little bit into a bit of a point and I thread the buckle through there and a little bit of tiny dab of glue and glue down the buckle. I've got a piece of thicker leather, 1 8 and I'm going to take it about that far around the dog's neck. If I look at this with one leather on top of the other, that's actually going to be a little bit too wide, but the next narrow leather I have is too narrow. So what I'm going to do is take this little piece and using a ruler and a knife or scissors, I'm going to try to cut off approximately one millimeter of that leather to thin it down a bit. That came off quite well, trying to keep it as even as possible. On each end of this underneath side, we're gonna just trim a little bit. That shape, what we're trying to do is achieve this to be that width. So when it sits on top, it blends into here. You do that on both sides. Finish the back of this piece with a bit of this gum as well. Trag again, I can never say this right. So there's nothing, uh, no fur sticking out. Nice finished edges. I'm gonna mark, note the halfway mark on this piece. And then I'm gonna glue it underneath the brown from just before the buckle to almost to that halfway point. I have this small JR4 ring from Rio Rondo, and I'm gonna thread this on to the main leather. Push this ring all the way up to the middle, and then glue the rest of the, this down. When you're gluing these together, try to glue it with a curve, the shape of the dog's neck. Check the length, determine how much overlap you want, and trim a point onto the end of the leather. And we're gonna buckle this on. We'll attach the name tag right.
So let's work on the name plates. For the horse's halter, I'm gonna use this plate, and these came from Rio Rondo. And for the dog collar, I'm gonna use the little dog tag. And these are tiny. To create the name, I've got some water slide decal paper that I picked up from Amazon. To create these, we're going to open a Word document or something similar. Then we're going to type the name of your horse in there or your dog. And for the clearest font, you're going to choose Lucida Sans. That's what I would recommend for tiny print. And where it says font size, uh, you have to manually type that in because there's no font small enough. So I picked 3.5. Uh, that'll depend on the size. You can do some test prints to see what works best for you. Once you have it set up, then go into print the item. Uh, choose high quality print and print it on glossy photo paper. Here is my test print and I'm going to check it against the size of the actual plates. And if I like that, I'm now going to put my special paper in there. And you can see on the instructions that you use, uh, how, how you use this, and that you have to use glossy printer paper or glossy photo paper for the print. So that I can use this photo paper again, I'm gonna slice a clean line off that, and put this back away, and then I'm gonna let this dry for about five minutes. In this little container, I've put about a tablespoon of white vinegar and mixed it with a tablespoon of water. And then I'm going to take the name that I've cut out and with a brush, paint the back. Just going to soak the back of that sticker or water slide paper. And with a, something, I'm just going to see if it slides. If it doesn't slide, I'm going to get it a little wetter. Leave it a little longer. It could take up to a minute before it decides to move. Be very careful with this little thing. Now you can see it's starting to move. So I'm going to slide my plate there. Just carefully sliding that till I get it where I can pull the paper out from underneath and move that around as it's still wet and straighten it up as much as possible. I'm just going to go off screen. Now that I've got on that. that on and straight, I'm going to let that dry for a few hours. You can see there's some extra paper around there, and that's going to be cut off afterwards. But right now, I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to do the same thing for Joe's name tag. The whole thing here is just to work carefully and better squeezers would really help, but I can't find mine right now. Joe's tag, and now just leave that alone. So now that the halter and dog collar is done, we're gonna take these that have dried overnight, and you can see there's a little bit of that paper still there. So we can just trim that off, but be very careful. get the rest when we glue it. Using a little bit of water on these edges would also help get that under. For the name tag, I'm just gonna get a little hook or a piece of wire and thread that through the tag. 
And I'm just gonna close that side of the hoop. Then run it through the dog collar. And see here, it's the wrong way. So I'm gonna flip that so the name tag is out. So you gotta make sure your name tag hangs the way you want it. These name tags are also great. Say if you have a Hanoverian and you can put that and hang it on the side of the halter with a little Hanoverian symbol. I only use three letters, Joe here for this guy because there's not much room on these. So I've closed the S thing. You just, as I said, just use a piece of wire or another ring. And Joe now has his little tag. To add your side plates, I know uh, Rio Rondo mentions using hot glue, but I prefer not to for me personally, because I fight with it. I'm just gonna use regular glue here, but use what works for you. I'm just gonna apply some glue to the back of this. Then place it obviously right side up in the center here. Now, if there was a lot of flex, you would definitely wanna use hot glue. Now for these little holes where you'd expect nails to go, I'm using microbeads that I've got at Michael's. Obviously gold ones to go with what I've got. And I'm just gonna carefully with tweezers, pick one up, dip it in some glue and put it in place. If you would like to do a fluffy thing for the top, what I've got is some white fleece. So it's knit on one side, fleecy on the other. And I've cut a piece about an inch and a half by five eighths. And with the fluffy side out, I'm going to fold that over apply glue on the fluff so this way it can come off, fold it over and just glue the fabric together. You could also hand stitch that if you'd like. Since my glue didn't hold on this uh, fabric very well, I think it's just a lot better just to grab that with some top stitching here. Just catching the edge all the way along. Here is the finished little fluffy. I put a little dab of glue on the knot at the end and you can see it's not attached at all to the leather. It can move back and forth and you can take it off if you want. But 